Hello and welcome to this little mini-series of intro tutorials to the Java Media Framework. My name is Andreas and our one of these tutorials covers some of the basics in Java Media Framework like playing audio and video with Java programs and Java applets, streaming media with Java and I will teach you some of the fundamental things you need to know to understand Java Media Framework. To start with Java Media Framework, you at least need to know some of the basics in Java, like the for loop, the if else statement, and events, and so on. Knowledge about working with files and streams and threads in Java will also be handy. The Java Media Framework supports a huge range of media file types, such, such as AVI, SWF, MP3, MPG, MOV files and so on. Before installing the Java Media Framework, you need to make sure you have, you have the Java Development Kit 32-bit installed on your computer. Um, this is the download pick from Java. I'm, I'm just going to show you that you can download the 32-bit from this page by uh, with if you're using Windows, selecting uh, the uh, Windows installation without uh, the x64 bit. The links that I'm using in this tutorial, I'm going to be posting in the comments. This is the Eclipse homepage. I'm going to be using Eclipse IDE in these tutorials, so go ahead and download it if you like. Again, be sure to download the 32-bit for your operating system. This is the, is the Java Media Framework uh, homepage, if you like. You can download the Java Media Framework uh, by clicking on this link. Here, we are taken to the Downloads page. You can read about the hardware requirements, requirements here, and you can read about the installation instructions to your operating system here. Um, I'm going to uh, be reading the Java Media Framework perf uh, performance pack installation. And here there's a note about the people who are using the Netscape communicator in Windows. Um, but if you are using Firefox or Internet Explorer you should be good to go. And go ahead and click download. Here, select your platform and click Agree. Here, you are given a new option, a cross-platform option, but you should be downloading the, op the, the um, edition for your own operating system, the, your own performance pack. This is my mobile. Yes. Okay. Um, um, because um, it's going to be faster on your own operating system if you're downloading uh, this edition and it's still going to be cross-platform. Go ahead and click save and it's saving. Now you're going to go ahead and um, go to uh, my computer and click properties if you are using Windows click advanced system settings and click environment variables here we're going to create a new path a class path and clicking new class path we're making this dot this uh, period and semicolon because then uh, it will look inside the standard Java classes before looking for the new class path that's going to be created um, after we have installed the Java Media Framework. I'm clicking OK now. Clicking OK and OK. Now I'm ready to go ahead and install the Java Media Framework. I'm going to where I have downloaded the Java Media Framework 
and I'm going to double click to install it's installing now here you're gonna click yes to the license agreement and install the Java media framework in the default uh, destination just clicking next and you can read here that the Java uh, the installation is uh, creating the necessary changes to the class path and the path and I'm clicking next it's uh, right now it's uh, detecting devices and it should be gone in a minute and I think it's finished yes now it's asking me to restart the computer and if you like go ahead and do the same now that I have restarted my computer I'm going to open the Java Media Framework so you can see how it looks like. Now that you've seen how it looks, I'm going to delete, delete this shortcut. Sometimes the Java Media Framework is working when you're opening it um, through Windows, but you have to open it through the command prompt to be 100% sure that it's working. You're going to type Java JM studio and then you're going to try to press file open file and then open the file completely as you used to do I'm not, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to show you a problem that I, that I had my Java media framework still didn't work so I went to this uh, home page I have I'm, I'm gonna uh, paste uh, this uh, URL onto my um, description I went to the download section right here the FOPS for JMF binaries clicked at the latest version and I downloaded this file um, I, pay, uh, I extracted it and then I copied it, copied it all to my destination folder of my um, Java Media Framework. Sorry, uh, to the lib folder inside the destination folder of the Java Media Framework. I just copied it all. Then, afterwards, I went ahead and copied this path, pressed OK and I went to uh, my computer again and uh, edited the environment variables now I'm editing, I'm editing it, uh, myself and typing fobs for jmf.jar and pressing OK Okay. Now I have to do one more thing, and that is to go to computer again. And then I copied this fast4jmf.dll until the uh, to the Windows system thirty two folder right here copied it to this folder and then I opened uh, Java Media Framework one more time Java Media Studio sorry I clicked File, Preferences, and then Plugins, and here you have to add one plugin, Demultiplexer. If you don't, if you do not have this uh, um, this class right here, you're going to add you're going to add it uh, manually, and um, you're gonna you're gonna have to add three to the codec and one to the packages right here. In the protocol prefix uh, list. 
Okay. You can uh, find the classes you have to add in this link I have given you. They're in the bottom of the page right here. This one, this one, and this one, and this one. Maybe, and this one in the prefix tab. Maybe it's already been added to your uh, Java Media Framework. Then you do not have to do anything, and, and your Java Media Framework should be working at this point if you have done exactly what I what I have said. I'm going to try some try mine right now and open file, and I have this one I want to show you, and it's working. Okay. That's how I install the Java Media Framework. I hope you can get your Java Media Framework to work as well. If you're using an other um, platform, then it's not going to be the same, but almost the same. And you can still use the Forbes for GMF. Thank you. See you in, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.